Hi students, this is our new session uh, in economics, sectors of Indian economy. Yes, what is mean by sectors? Sectors is nothing but speak about the three sectors of Indian economy, primary, secondary and tertiary sector. Yes, now, economic activities are classified into groups using some important criterion. These groups are known as sectors of economy. Yes, just look at this picture everyone. People around us are engaged in different activity to earn livelihood. Some may producing goods while others may delivering services. Yes, of course. Just look at this picture everyone. You will find that people are engaged in various economic activities. Yes, for example, farmer who is doing farming and then a postman who is delivering services. Yes, so some of these are activities producing goods. Of course, farmer some others are producing services. Yes, of course, postman. As we speak, see for example, these activities are happening around us every minute as we speak. Yes, each and every activity is happening in an economy. These groups are called sectors. Yes, now, classification on the basis of nature of activity, sectors of Indian economy, there are three sectors, primary, secondary and tertiary sector. Now, we will see what does mean by primary sector? The economic activity which are connected with the extraction and production of natural resources. See for example, agriculture, fishing, mining, etc. falls under primary sector. So what does mean by primary? Primary is nothing but which produced from the natural goods. We will be calling it as a primary. First point. Second, there are many activities that are undertaken by directly by using the natural resources. The things which we are using it from the natural resources we will be calling it as a primary sector. I can give you with a more example. Cotton, dairy, minerals, ore or natural products, uh, fishing, agriculture, everything will be calling it as a primary sector. See for example, we can see with the cotton, cultivation of a cotton for the growth of cotton plant. We depend mainly but entirely we are depend on natural factors like rainfall, climate, uh, sunshine etc. Yes, then exam when we produce the goods by exploiting the natural resources, it is an activity of the primary sector. So, whatever may be the goods we are producing it by exploiting the natural resources, we will be calling it as a primary sector. Yes, just look at the example I gave you forestry, then fishing, the last one is agriculture. Yes, now let us move on to the other one. Secondary sector. The secondary sector is otherwise called a manufacturing sector or industrial sector. By looking at the picture itself, I think you people know the economic activity which are related to the manufacturing process. See, for example, manufacturing of steel falls under secondary sector. Yes, of course. And the secondary sector cover the activity in which the natural product are changed into the other form. Yes, through the way of manufacturing. It is the next step after the primary. See for example, using cotton fiber from the plant. What we will be doing it? We will spin it, making as a yarn and weave the cloth with the help of manufacturing. That is what I just mentioned, isn't it? What is the manufacturing? The natural products are changed into the other form through the way of manufacturing. That is what I just gave you with an example of cotton. Now we will just move with an example of sugarcane. As sugarcane has a raw materials, we make sugar or a gut. Yes, now I will repeat, secondary sector is otherwise called a industrial sector. Just look at the example everyone, example of secondary sector, manufacturing. Yes, now the third sector is nothing but the most important sector, the most contribution sector is nothing but we will be calling it as a tertiary sector. The economic activity that are mostly based on providing the services to the society like transportation, banking, insurance, etc. falls under tertiary sector. Yes, that is what they have given here. Tertiary uh, economic activity that is based on providing the services will be calling it as a tertiary sector. These are the activity that help in the development of primary as well as the secondary. So, this activity helps to develop primary as well as the secondary sector. We will just see one example, 
Just look at the example of banking and finance. Next, this activity do not produce goods, but they are support for production process. In this tertiary sector, I've told you already, we'll be calling it as a service sector. This activity, they are not going to produce any goods, but they will support the production process. See, for example, after uh, I've just told you uh, uh, getting a corner from the counter plant from the primary, then after that, we'll spin it, we'll make it as a yarn and we weave the cloth I've just told you. After weaving the cloth, what we are going to do it? We are going to transport the commodity. For the transportation, which one we are using it here? We are using it here, tertiary sector. Yes, see for example, goods that are produced in the primary and secondary would need to transport by trucks or by a train. And then sold, where they will sold? They will sold it in the wholesale or a retail shop. And if it's necessary, they will store it in a goodons. And then they need to talk to the telephone or a send letters to communication like a banking, what I mentioned, trade, example of tertiary sector. Yes, so that's what we are calling tertiary sector is a service sector. Yes, now, service sector, just look at, also include essential services that may not directly help in the production of goods. Example, teachers, doctors, they are doing some kind of services. And those who provide personal services, washermen, barbers, cobblers, and those people will come under in it. In recent time, certain new services like IT, information technology, ATM booths, call center, software companies, etc. have become important. So, it's shown clearly that tertiary sector which denotes with different services which are doing its services for helping for the production process and then other kind of services that may not directly help in the production. Yes, I can give you with an example of teachers and doctor and who provide a personal services like a washerman, barber, cobblers. And the third, the reason time, it's a most famous uh, new services like a IT, ATM booths, call center, software companies, etc. became most important in the tertiary sector and there was a GDP growth in the tertiary sector. Just look at the last example everyone. 